Come on in, Scott McNeely. He is the Weigh In co founder and the executive chair thereof. And this is the guy who uh, is he's known all over Silicon Valley, this <laughs> gentleman. Uh, let, tell me about Elon Musk. I'm sure you know him. Is he a true visionary? Is he the next Steve Jobs? Oh, man, you set me up this morning, didn't you? First of all, I don't know him. I've never met him. And I'm not a shareholder in any of his businesses. And my Twitter feed blew up a while back when I uh, happened to say that, uh, you, know, I'm a, you know me, I'm a raging capitalist, small government guy. Yeah. And I'm just, I, I uh, made the huge mistake of maybe <laughs> suggesting that he was a crony statist as opposed to a capitalist, given that space and solar and Tesla were all government subsidized and all the rest of it. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm not going to talk about it any anymore. I just, I, I love my Twitter feed. I don't want it to blow up with everybody <laughs> saying, oh my gosh, how can you say anything uh, other than wonderful and positive things about uh, Mr. Musk? So I'm not going to, I defer on that question. You know, McNeely, that was 45 seconds of no comment. You could have done that in three <laughs> seconds. Come on. All right. Now, it's something really serious here. Gary Cohen, as you know, he is the chief economic advisor to President Trump. He appeared on this program last week to discuss tax reform. Just listen to this for a second. Roll tape. We will meet a timetable. You know, most important thing is that we get tax reform done, and we get it done this year. We're working as hard as we can to get tax reform done. It's a number one priority of mine. The president asks me about it every day. Now, I've got to say, Scott, I'm a little worried by that. Gary Cohn, top guy in the White House for the economy, and he has no timetable that for tax cuts. You worried too? Uh, yeah, and, and there are so many incentives to not fix tax cuts, and it has to do with everybody trying to get elected using their little loopholes, their little issues. There's a huge uh, industry involved in uh, creating uh, tax, I mean, it's tax season. My tax documents are about this high. There's no way I could do them on my, and I just sign them. There's no way I can even know what's in them. It is so complicated. And that creates a huge industry for people. So people who want to get elected, people who want to, you know, buy votes, all the rest of it, they're all fighting against something that's simple and, and easy to do. So I, I, I'm certainly not holding my breath for it. But you want the corporate tax cut first and foremost, above all else, cut corporate tax rates. That, that's your thing. I want people to get back to work. And I don't, I don't want them going back to work in the government. I want them to go back to work in the private sector and uh, lowering tax rates will increase jobs. It's obvious, it's blatant, it's logical. Uh, and uh, Well, I'm hearing a lot the... about that that could be the first thing. Um, instead of going for a huge, great big tax bill where all kinds of things are changed, just go for that one area, corporate tax rates, lower them, and bring that money back from overseas. That would be the easy way out, wouldn't it? That would be a nice first start, and uh, repatriation would be huge. Uh, lowering the cost of capital for investment is, is, is huge, and having that investment done here in the U.S. as opposed to internationally. When you leave money international, uh, the money is invested internationally, and uh, I don't think that's good for uh, a, well, you know, jobs Well, would it here. come back? I mean, if you cut the corporate tax rate to, say, 15 percent, it's 35 percent now, you cut it to 15 percent, do you think there would be huge repatriation, hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars coming back to America? I'm not sure. I think the lower you bring it, the more that will come back. I remember, you know, when I was running Sun Microsystems, we were lobbying for this, and we wanted to invest here, but uh, it, was, it was hard with cash that had already been taxed internationally to bring it back here and get it taxed again. It didn't make sense. So you'd like to see a tax holiday, maybe? That would be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. <laughs> Did you expect it? No. All right, Scott McNeely, thanks for joining us this morning. And I'm sorry about the Elon Musk question. I'll never ask you again. <laughs> I don't want to upset your Twitter feed, okay? I understand these things. All right, Thank Scott, you. Thank you a lot, sir. Appreciate it.